So we're gonna talk a little bit about AG27XF3. So a 2.7 bean as it's labeled. Uh, and one of, the, uh, one of the beans that we're really proud of and really happy with that came out of that XF3 class that we'll probably talk about a fair amount. So uh, this bean, we've got a quite a bit of volume around this bean. We're getting pretty excited about positioning this as we go into 2025. Uh, but just definitely want to call out right out of the gate that sometimes it is mislabeled. Um, and, and it has a tendency to be 3.0-ish. And, and generally, if it does trend uh, closer to that 3.0, 3.1 maturity, it's generally going to be a little bit better in yield. But if it actually matures like a typical 2.7 would, it's probably not going to be as um, impressive uh, when, when you go to harvest it. So, um, you know, for me, the, the, the bean does have great uh, stability across yield environments. Um, it can get a little tall. It can lean a little bit. Um, I personally have yet to have any actual complaints about it, about harvestability. So it really, for me, has not been a problem yet. Um, one thing I would definitely encourage is that, you know, at this maturity, a lot of guys are going to probably try to plant this one as one of their first planted beans. It is a little bit below average on SDS, so I would highly encourage some sort of an SDS seed treatment uh, be, being uh, put on the seed uh, before we go to the field with it. I, I think this bean moves south well, which makes it a great early bean early in Chris's market. Uh, as you go north, you can get into a little more struggles with the standability and the white mold tolerance and the SDS. Uh, so some of its plant health challenges uh, can kind of limit its range sometimes. As Chris mentioned earlier, when it's at its best, it's going to act like an early group three. But whether you call it a 2.7 or a 3.1, this thing can really crank out a lot of yield. We've seen it go over 100 in a lot of plots. Uh, I'm holding here a, a really impressive looking, Chris got one too, cluster of uh, flowers and pods it's trying to set at the top. and. Was just at a field day yesterday, uh, Dr. Bilo talking about how if you can put one more pod on a bean plant, typically that's going to add about two bushel to the yield of that plant. Well, this plant's trying to add about 10 pods right up here at the top. And and when it gets the opportunity to do that, you know, that that's when it wins yield trials. And I, and I have never seen a late group two or early group three that can dominate in high yield environments the way 27XF3 can.